This video of Kelly Rowland really reminds me of how difficult it is to set boundaries as a black woman because regardless, you're going to be the one labeled problematic. So in that video, if you read her lips, it looks as though she's saying to the lady, don't talk to me like that or don't speak to me like that, something along those lines. And when she points her finger, is she says something along the lines of, you're not my mother. So it's clear that she feels disrespected and she's establishing a clear boundary about how she wants to be spoken to or the type of respect at, for her that she's going to demand from people around her well within her right. But what I noticed is a lot of the media has the narrative is Kelly Rowland scolds security or whatever, whoever this lady is. And we know the racial implications and all of that. And it really got me to thinking about how lately I have decided that I am establishing clear boundaries with people. And if they cannot respect how I want to be treated, I'm no longer dealing with them. Like, I don't care if it's personally, professionally. Recently, I got new insurance. They gave me a new primary care provider. It was closer to my house. The one I was going to was like an hour away. So I said, hey, I will at least go into this office to see. I go in, the lady takes my blood pressure. She tells me it's slightly elevated. And I also, I tell her, hey, my prescription ran out. I need new medicine. She says, okay, tell the nurse practitioner. I think she was a nurse practitioner. I don't think she was the doctor. Tell the nurse practitioner when she comes in to speak to you. So the nurse practitioner comes in and goes, I see that you're not taking your medicine. And I was like, you know, wait a minute. I ran out of the prescription. It is, you know, slightly elevated, but it is not too high or so uncontrollable. And she goes, well, when was the last time you took it? And I was like, it's been a while. So tell me again why you're not taking your medicine. I said, you know what? This is not going to work. This is not going to work. I packed my little purse up and I walked out of the office. I'm not going to pay you and be disrespected at the same time. Like, that's just not going to happen. So I called the insurance company and was like, hey, I need to keep my original doctor going back to her. Okay. I'm not dealing with people that are disrespectful. I was in Lowe's yesterday picking up some plants. She started ringing them up. It did not show the discounted price. Another lady that had nothing to do with me and the associate that was working with me comes over and said, well, if it has a line through it, then it's 50% off. I said, that's fine. But in the back, that's not what the sign is showing. In the back, it's showing something different. Well, if it has a line through, I said, ma'am, I don't know who you're talking to, but I will leave these plants right here. I'm not arguing with you about it. I'm just letting you know the sign in the back says something different. So she goes and gets the manager. The manager comes over and says, if it has a line through it, I said, I do not care about that line. I'm not arguing with you about this price. And if one more person comes over here and talks to me about this, y'all can have all of these plants back and you can just take them and put them in the back. And so the lady that was working with me was like, let me just go ahead and ring these up for you. I said, okay. She rings them up. They ring up appropriately. But I was just like, I am not going to continue to engage with people that are clearly hell bent on being disrespectful in no aspect of my life. And at this point, I do not care if I am the one that is being labeled problematic. I do not care. I'm not going to tolerate disrespect.